Welcome to another What's the Trick Saturday. I suppose I should have my cards. Okay, so shuffle the deck. Shuffling the deck. Oops. Apparently I can't shuffle. It's hard to do when you're on camera. Do I like my backgrounds? I really love these backgrounds. All right, so shuffling the deck. Okay. And so let's just say, I don't know, eight of clubs, for example. So right here. This looks like a good spot. Okay, let's go for it. So right here should be the eight of clubs is it yeah it is the eight of clubs uh, i don't know let's do it again with like that the 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 half picked one uh, let's just say king of diamonds this looks like a good spot for king of diamonds okay king of diamonds right here today we're talking about arrays so this is an array and we want to flatten this array this is a big ugly you know, it's not, it's not a fun, it's not a fun object to work with, right? So we want to flatten it. Flattening an array refers to just taking all of the items inside of it and, you know, denesting it pretty much. I don't know why it's flattener, but denest the array. So you have a little array and then an array and it just, it's really ugly and it's not fun to work with. And I've been asked this a few times on job applications. They're like, here's an array, please flatten it, upload it to your GitHub and then post it and we will review it and get back to you. And then I've been asked it in the middle of a whiteboard before uh, they were like here's an array please flatten it and I was like uh, can I use like stack overflow and they told me no and I was like uh, all right well this is gonna take some time but anyways the point is that this is a it's a tough one and it gets asked and I've been asked it so I'm gonna share it with you guys before we jump in I just need to say thank you to Vlaslo and the Martin fee I appreciate your support if I've helped you and you're thinking about donating to someone you know maybe consider me it helps me up the quality on these videos um, if you want to see more click that little subscribe button join the discord I will welcome you call me out seriously if I don't welcome you it's probably because I'm asleep or you know actually like living life but I will welcome you I have some merch you know go get yourself a coffee mug that says constant hustle equals true I ordered a shirt so I'm probably gonna be wearing my my hustle shirt in like every single video now and I only have two colors, so it's gonna look like I don't wash my laundry. All right, so we need we need to start off with like a with an ugly array. Luckily, I've already typed one out, but just just look at this. This is a piece of work. We have the main array here, and the only piece of content in the actual main array is the last index, and that's a four. And then we have a subarray with the first two, one, two, and then three and a five. And it's just it's not nice, right? So you want to take all these numbers out, and you want to put them into their own array. So Let's write a function to do that. To do that, we write a function. This function needs a name. We're gonna call it the flatten. flatten. Sure. Uh, it takes some items and then let's open up our function here. We need to create a new array that we want to store uh, all these values in, but you know, in just one array. So we'll call it the flat array. Do that. All right, so then we need to write a loop. Basically, we're gonna use a for each loop to loop over each item in this ugly array. So let's do items.foreach. Um, so you can see this syntax here, element, and then you got this fat arrow. Uh, what you can do is do this. And so then it's like a, a callback function, but you could do it the other way, this just, a little bit more um, this is classic JavaScript so you know maybe it's better if we go back to this so we have element it's gonna be called element we want it to be called item so items dot what did I do I just want items dot for each okay you know what let's just go back to the other way Um, oh my god. I'm just going to type it out. This is what you get when you try to use emit. Items.array.foreach. We don't, we don't need to do that. We just want to do items.foreach. For each item. That's fine. Okay, so now we want to check to see if, if it's an array. So it's going to loop over each item. And we want to check to make sure it's an array. So is it an array or is it just an integer? So is it inside of these brackets or is it just is it just a number free floating by itself? So if array dot is array, so this is kind of a new thing. Um, 
Let me show you what this does. I, I have a little bit of code kind of packed up here for you. It does. So like this, print array dot is array. So if I do that, it should return, well, this won't return anything because I need to console log it. So it returns true. That's pretty much what it does. It just, it's the true or false check. So that's what we have here. All right, so let's continue on with isArray. Um, obviously we need our brackets. This is where we're gonna do our logic. So we want to, if it, if it is an array, we want to we want to take the flat, the empty array, and we want to push the new stuff into it, right? But we want to flatten it at the same time. So here comes here comes the difficult part to explain, but it's not that difficult. Don't let me sway your opinion by saying that up front. All right. So if you don't know what these three dots mean, this is known as a spread operator. It's relatively new, ES six ish. Let me explain what this does. Okay. So I have an example prepared here for you. Let's go back to our console. Here we go. We have two arrays. We have mid array and array. So if we put mid inside of the lower array, how do you think that this will come out? Well, let's find out. It comes out like this, an ugly, an ugly array. That's, this is what happens, right? You have an array and, and another array inside of it. How many times am I going to say that word in this video? I, I don't know. But let me show you what happens if I put the spread operator on it, right? So now it has been flattened. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is exactly what we're doing here in the actual, the actual function. So move this out of the way again. So if we have an if statement that we need an else, right? So we'll flatten the item else. If it's not, if it's not an array and it's just a number, we just want to push that number uh, into into the empty array as well. So and we'll push the item in there. I messed that up. That. There we go. Just a little bit of a syntax bug there. Um, down here, we want to return. We want to return the. Uh, a new array, so we can actually see what it is. What we could do is just console that log it, so it doesn't get lost. You got to return stuff. If you don't return stuff, it dies inside of the function. Like you, you can't use it anymore. It just dies. Like you don't. Like the function runs it, uses the data, and then it dies and it disappears. If you return it, it's kind of like storing it so that you can use it. Um, someone will probably correct me on that, but let's just console log it for the sake of uh, of this. So I'm going to highlight this, I'm going to copy it, come over here to our console again, paste it in there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to say undefined, because we have to return it. Okay, so let me just control Z that, copy, still going to say that. Oh, I know why. <laughs> Because we don't have the item in there. We're not checking anything. Okay. All right. Now, I don't actually know. Oh, I, I know. I, I know why here. <laughs> this, is, this is the problem, right? I have to actually run the function because I'm, I'm being a noob. So we got to put in ugly array. And then we have to actually like invoke the function to be able to see this stuff. Okay. Let's clear it again. Let's come back here. There we go. Now you can see how this works. The hardest part about this is understanding the spread operator and then the fact that we're using this function inside of itself, right? So a little bit of a recursion here, but don't get hung up on that. Um, just use the example for the spread operator so you can see that it's looping over each item. We'll consider an item, right? So it loops over this whole thing. Yep, it is an array. All right, flatten push it or flatten it or use the spread operator and then flatten or, or then run the function again and this time put that item through the function and push it into the flat so that's what this recursion means so it runs this loop this for each and then it kind of runs it again hopefully this helps you out i know it's a little bit confusing
hopefully the examples that you, well, the things that you should take away, right? You should take away the array that is array. This is pretty new. Um, it's really fancy. I think this is a great way to sort stuff. And then the spread operator. You can do a lot of cool stuff with the spread operator. You can also um, store, you know, you can duplicate variables. Uh, in JavaScript, there's a thing called, here we go, it's called store by reference and store by like value. So if I do, let me get my example. Over. So if I get my example, we have the variable array ABC, and that we want to change variable array to now be um, array two. So we want to copy. We want to copy this variable. We're going to have two two of them. But if I run this in a function, right now we just have it's it's the same thing. It's not it's not copied. So let's go down here for a second. Let me show you what happens if we push a number. So we have this. Right? And so now we have if, if we're we're specifically pushing the letter D into the array two. But we're console logging the original array. Why does the original array have a D on it? That's known as storing by reference. It's not creating a new variable inside of the memory. It is pointing up here to this array. It's like it's it's called pass by reference, but it should be called like pass by like redirect. I think that's easier to understand. Um, so right now, it says um, console log dot array, and this just says, oh, all right, we're we're just like a URL redirect. We're we're actually pointing up here. We're not duplicating. We're just we're just um, redirecting you or referencing this other place. So we want to push the letter D into array two. And we have this spread operator here. And we know originally when we were doing it before, we put the letter D onto the second array and it was showing on the first array. Why was it doing that? But if you use the spread operator, you can successfully duplicate it, right? So now if we console log the second one, you'll see that it has a D on it. And then the first one only is only ABC and the second one is ABCD. So that's what spread operator does for arrays. It does more than that. It does actually a lot of things. You can duplicate objects and stuff, but you know, don't, don't get hung up on that. Don't get confused on that. I hope that you guys can understand it and that I explained it okay, right? I'm really kind of struggling with that imposter syndrome a little bit, you know? Don't feel qualified because like, I'm over here trying to understand it as I'm explaining it. That's it. If you want to see more of these videos on Sundays, hit the subscribe button and uh, you know, get yourself a little constant hustle equals true mug. You know, join that Discord. I will welcome you personally. And uh, if you want to support the channel, I have a Patreon. That would be cool. If you don't, no worries, dude. I get it. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, thanks for watching.